I another quick video on the old blood tests. Um, so I did one ages ago, like literally a year and a half ago, and they were all good. Um, so this time we're just gonna go look at the next ones. Obviously, I should do them more often. I'm planning to do them every like three to six months, especially before big training block. Um, but we'll just go through them, then I'll talk a little bit about them. So anyway, B12 has gone up. It's still a bit poor. Um, it's, but it's gone up to like an okay range. Um, I guess I've been eating a bit more B12, but I should supplement it more. I'm a bit lame. Um, so it's, it just has less, but trends is more important. Ferritin, again, optimal, slightly down, but you know, it's like not massive issue. Folate didn't happen, which is annoying, but I think my folate before was pretty decent. So um, that was good, obviously. Don't want to be anemic. All these measurements are in such random units. Like that's 22 and a half nanomoles per litre. This is in something else, micrograms per litre. So it's a bit hard to keep track. But I guess just look at the look at the range. Um, my HbA1c didn't happen before. Again, this is um, to do with diabetes and to see if your blood sugar level. I believe that's what I think it is. Um, so that's fine. All these things I don't really ever had to worry about. Which is good to see. Um, all my triglycerides, etc., all fine. Um, and some people say if you eat a lot of sugar, you have high triglycerides, but um, alas, minor. Again, it, it like looks big, but then the range is like 0.86 to 0.77. So you're like, okay, fair. That's like maybe a seven to eight percent increase, but then on the scale, it's still not huge and also these change so rapidly that you can't really move like draw much into it um, my liver function is all all normal which is what we we love to see um i wonder if there's anything on the trends again i don't really know what these are so they're probably not the most thing and my protein thing is fine vitamin d is the only one that's bad so always i think last time i just went on holiday before i had the test um so it was like i've just been vitamin d doping um but i'm definitely going to supplement vitamin d it can be a bit difficult to get vegan ones but i believe they are them about that so anyway the only ones i don't think it says anything um so it just says you currently don't smoke eat more plant-based foods with vitamin d i think generally i just need to eat uh just take vitamin d supplements i'd be fine um but yeah folate and sort of b12 is the main one before a big training block and ferritin obviously folate didn't work but ferritin was seemed okay so i was quite happy with that but anyway um got a fat training week this week uh First week of block periodization, which is like five VO2 efforts this week, and then one for the remaining three weeks of the plan. Um, just supposed to get mega stress. Obviously, I don't have power still because my current's getting fixed. Um, but yeah, three minutes, six minutes, eight minutes. Um, I'm going to do a whole video. I've got a vlog. I've actually been blogging a little bit, which I know everyone loves to see um, about all the about my training and how it's going. So, um, but yeah, it's good. The blood test results. Happy that I'm not bad. I think when I have a backlog of all these Thriver ones, but I think. I'm going to change to the fourth edge because I think they're more um, to do with performance as well. Ash, who loves a bit of blood, um, check his channel, Ash Beach, he's loads of stuff about blood and like, um, he was anemic and now he's not and he's super, super fast and he has tips on how to do it. But he says like they're a little bit better just because they have more performance things like heavy hematocrit and other things. Um, but obviously with everything, it's like, unless you're taking samples, you know, every sort of week or so, every three weeks, like. You can't you can't see too much um but i guess it's just important to before a big training block to make sure you're not massively anemic or whatever because then that wouldn't be ideal um so yeah that's that's good to see um so it will, maybe we'll do one i don't know maybe before hill climb season just see what the numbers are out but it'll be more interesting to see as sort of some of the other more performance indicators um and see what they're like but anyway cheers for watching hope you'd enjoy um make sure to follow me on strava link below um i see all my training and stuff um but anyway cheers for watching